Hi, my name is Bruce Stewart. I'm a technical service manager with FMC located out of Choctaw, Oklahoma. Well, today I'm out in a wheat field that's getting close to harvest time, and it's this time of year, it really becomes evident if your weed control program was effective or not. A lot of the weeds oftentimes will come up above the seed heads of the wheat and make their presence uh, really known. Italian ryegrass is one of those weeds that uh, you can really see it just dry by driving by a field, and it's become an important weed in eastern Oklahoma, eastern Kansas, and also uh, just that northern Texas area. Important thing about Italian ryegrass is that it can cause about a 20% reduction in yield and also about a 9% bushel discount at the elevator. So it's become an important and kind of consistent weed here in this part of the country. Really, there's three important steps that you must follow to get effective control of Italian ryegrass with Anthemflex herbicide. One is to put out the proper rate, and that's somewhere between three and a half to four fluid ounces per acre. Also, timing is essential. Uh, the timing for Anthemflex is what we call a delayed pre-emergent application, and that's where we go on uh, to apply the product at around uh, when the wheat seed has germinated and about 80% of those shoots of the wheat seed are about a half inch or longer up through spiking. So again, making an application whenever about 80% of those wheat uh, shoots are about a half inch or longer up through spiking is the best time frame to make an application of Anthemflex herbicide. Also, getting a, an activating rainfall is essential to get the product down uh, to where the weed seeds are. And we need about a half inch of rainfall within about seven days. If not, inconsistent uh, control or poor control could result. So again, proper rate, proper timing, and then also activating rainfall are essential to get effective control of Italian ryegrass with this product. Oftentimes we get too busy or rainfall comes right after we plant our wheat seed and we don't get our Anthem Flex herbicide application on at the timing that we had hoped. I can't emphasize enough how critical it is to get Anthem Flex herbicide applied at the proper time. Again, if we need to put it on right as that weed seed, the Italian ryegrass is germinating. Uh, if we start seeing young seedlings of Italian ryegrass, uh, we're probably getting it on too late. The majority of the activity of Anthemflex herbicide is on that uh, weed seed as it's germinating, and that's where we're gonna have the most effective and consistent control. Recent research has shown that Anthemflex herbicide plus finesse cereal and fallow herbicide can be safely and effectively tank mixed together to control important broadleaf and grassy weeds in wheat. Finesse cereal and fallow herbicide is a combination of two different active ingredients. Uh, both of them are ALS chemistries. One is metsulfuron methyl and the other is chlorsulfuron. Both of these active ingredients are very effective in controlling broadleaf and grassy weeds that are found in wheat. And it also has a pretty wide window of application as well. It can go out in the fall or spring. It can go out as a pre-emergent application or it can go out as a post-emergent application. And that post-emergent application goes out kind of from that first leaf stage out to the boot stage. Also, uh, research has shown through the years that these fall applications of finesse, cereal and fallow herbicide are the most effective in providing weed control. It's getting those weeds as they're germinating. And then also we see uh, higher yields whenever those uh, fall applications of this herbicide go out. Again, it can go out as a pre-emerge and we usually recommend about 0.5 ounces per acre for a pre-emergent application. And when we go out with a post-emergent application of finesse cereal and fallow herbicide, we're looking at about 0.4 ounces per acre of, of this herbicide. The nice thing about both Anthem Flex and finesse cereal and fallow herbicide are the fact that they can be mixed safely with other pesticides uh, and fertilizers as well with no um, negative effect on the crop. Well, here at FMC, we wish you good luck in, in growing your crop 
also controlling weeds, and most importantly, that you have uh, good high yields. Good luck.